to Colin and Colin. Curses and superstitions in the sporting world yeah. today. What have you got for us? Well, well, so far there's been something to laugh at, hasn't there? You know, chicken bones being buried or goats being taken into matches. Today, I, I'm going to give you what I, I would say is a morbid curse, an eerie curse. And I think the ultimate unpalatable curse, because even if you support this team, you want to break that curse. But you kind of don't want at the end. I'll get to that in a second. Let me set up. It was 1951, and Mayo were playing in the Gaelic football All Ireland final, mm. which they win. Buoyant on their way home. They've won the big one. The Sam Maguire trophy's on the bus. They're having drinks and they're celebrating boisterously. And they go through in the bus a tiny town called Foxford. Mm. Very few residents. And there's a funeral cortege. Oblivious to this, they party through the cortege, upsetting the family. Mm. And the priest puts a curse on them. And I'll get to the specifics of it at the end. But from then, there has been the most remarkable run of bad luck and misfortune for Mayo. The curse of Sam Maguire. And since 1951, they've reached the All-Ireland final eight times and have never won it. 1996, some rotten luck against me. And literally, just a couple of months ago, it happened again. They lost by the smallest margin you can lose, two to Dublin, in the most recent All-Ireland final. One point, and all talk was that the curse wouldn't be broken. It's the curse itself, is why I call it the unpalatable curse. What the priests said that day, as they goaded him from the bus, was, you will not win another All-Ireland trophy until every member of this team has passed away. Now... That's a completely different kettle of fish. Mm. So that's why I say, if you're a fan of Mayo, you might want to break it and prove the curse wrong, but you'd never wish the curse to end. Right. It makes it unique. There's two members of the team who are still alive. Mm. Quite chilling, that one. You know? mm -hmm. And a, an Irish Catholic priest would say that in the middle of a... Yeah. Well, well, well. well um, it was 1951. Thank you very much indeed. Good story.